Snake kind of matches. Why, hello everybody, it's your girl Pagrelzy back at it again with another video. And today, my snake is swimming on the water? No, but really, guys, I will be talking about something pretty important. But if you really don't want to listen to it, which you don't have to, I'll also have this in the description. Feel free to skip ahead maybe like one minute into the video. But yeah, so let's just speed this up. So basically guys, I am right pretty much smack a dab in the path of Hurricane Irma. We are all shuttered up and everything, but I will be inactive for quite some time. I really don't know how long the power's been out. I've never been in such a big hurricane myself. I have this in the description of my last video, but as you guys may know, it's the eighth today. When you see this video, it will definitely not be the 8th, and I'm sorry about that, and I won't be able to respond to comments or anything like that, but I will be pretty active on my Instagram. So, shameless self-promo, pagelzy.aj. But yeah guys, I hope you just understand that I might be a little bit inactive, and I might not be able to post as many videos, but I thought that I should pre-record some videos for you guys, just in case I'm gone for longer than expected. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Guess who's back? back again. <laughs> no, but really, if you are new to this video, hello, my name is Pi, and you know what I was thinking yesterday? I was thinking, there's so many little things in Animal Jam that people don't really know. There's so many things that are definitely helpful to me, and that I'm not sure if all my cool meme family peeps know about. So, without further ado, let's get into Animal Jam Life Hacks. And so the first life hack on this list is actually a den decorating tip. So let's head over to my den right here. And are those some adorable rhinos or what? So here we are in my den and this is actually a pretty simple but not very well known tip. So all you wanna do is look up any candle or lamp or any sort of thing that you have. So I'm gonna take these scented candles right here because I personally very much like them and also shout out to Alistair's. So then what you're gonna do is you're going to actually look up a snake mat which is usually not something that you would kind of expect to put under a candle but actually let's just steal this one from my den it looks really good under the candles and just like that you have your own little candle placeholder mat thingy mabobber. Yeah it looks pretty cool not to mention these candles are probably my favorite candles in the entire game. And welcome back! We are no longer on Animal Jam. So the second Animal Jam life hack is actually for those of you that record videos or maybe want to take a screenshot or show something to your friend, I don't really know. But of course my password will be blurred. Basically all you have to do is once you're on the player login, if you hit play and then get on and then hit the back arrow and refresh, it shows you as just welcome your username so your password doesn't show up or anything like that. I think this is really helpful for those of you guys that record videos because sometimes you don't really want to show your password or how long it is. Mine personally is really really long so I'm not worried, but just in case some of you guys have a fairly short password, this definitely has worked for me. Also just ignore the fact I blurred out the password even though it's already kind of censored. Oh well. And look at that, now I am back in my den. So the second Animal Gym life hack is actually a pretty pretty helpful one I thought. So, what you're gonna do is just go to this adventure right here, Tiki Trouble. That's a pretty fine adventure. And now look at this. When you hit this little crystal right here, it takes away 10 damage. And so what you're gonna do is actually put on an armor gauntlet. I'm pretty sure it can be any one of these new ones, but I'm just gonna put on these mystical gauntlets because they look pretty awesome. So what this actually does is gives you extra damage when you hit these things. That gives you a whopping 34 extra damage, which makes destroying anything in an adventure so much easier. Especially some of those adventures where you have to get so many things to get the prizes. This is definitely a really helpful life hack. Okay, that wasn't exactly what I wanted, but I'll roll with it. And so the fourth Animal Gym life hack is actually when you're trying to get into somebody's den. For example, Wumu's den. We all know how hard Wumu's den can be to get into it sometimes it's just so difficult because everybody wants to be there 
And although technically everybody's at school, but school was canceled due to the hurricane for me, I'm not exactly sure if his den's gonna be full, but we can try. So what you actually wanna do is you can hit the space bar and just keep clicking. So let's see, his room's full, but if you just keep holding the space bar down and clicking, it will automatically just get rid of that check mark and you can just keep trying to get into the den. So sorry for the clicking noises, but we're just gonna click this until we get in. Okay, well update, it's been about 4,000 years. I'm still trying to get into his den, but you get the point. But yeah, this is really helpful for people that like to trade, because getting into somebody whose den is full is really difficult, as you can see. My finger kind of hurts, honestly. And so the fifth Animal Jam life hack is actually one for those that have problems getting gems, because I remember back in the olden days, although I have a lot of gems, it was very difficult for me to get gems. And when you wanted to buy so many things from the store, especially when you just become a member, your main problem is just not having enough gems to get everything. So a simple, simple fix to that is go over to the adventures right here and play Return of the Phantoms. Hard mode is probably going to be the best, but honestly, it doesn't matter. But we're just gonna go through hard mode to show you because hard mode's usually the best way to get more items and gems. But there's actually tons of little hidden gem chest areas in this map that you just kind of have to look for and they're not honestly that hard you will unfortunately have to just get through this first little level area but it's really not that difficult to do you just need to be able to walk through the water back there there's tons of gem chests in this adventure but even just in the beginning you can get 50 gems just all around this map and i'm just going to show you guys some of the other little chests that are around while i'm here like this one off to the side, you can actually get 100 gems, so we're up to 150. And just by playing these adventures just a couple times and getting through them, which already gives you a ton of gems, this, you'll definitely make tons of gems off of this. And on to the sixth life hack. Doesn't it get kind of annoying when you're trying to trade and someone's sitting right on top of you or dancing right on top of you trying to get the same trade? Well, all you have to do is just turn into a flying animal like I'm going to do right now. Actually, what the flying animal allows you to do is put your name tag over there so they'll trade you first. And just another little mini life hack along with this, turn your usernames on so it'll be super, super easy to figure out exactly who you're trying to trade for. And then you'll be able to remember their username instead of just having to remember what items they're wearing. This is what I do. Usernames are so helpful. And on to the seventh life hack is actually when a rare item Monday comes out, buy a ton of them or keep them on your account or put them on a spare account when you have money so that when you don't have any gems and you really need them for maybe a cooler rare item Monday or just some new item you want, you can just recycle them because Rare Item Mondays recycle for tons of gems. Some of them even recycle for up to a thousand. They're definitely worth the investment. I promise guys, they definitely are. And onto the eighth life hack. If you're just tired of these bland, boring old wallpaper, or you just can't find the right thing, there's actually an item you can use as wallpaper that I discovered the other day and it looks really good. Basically, if you use this honeycomb wall art as actual wallpaper, it looks really good and I'll show you. So it just made this kind of little table set up. This is obviously not probably the best way you could do it. It replaces the old wallpaper and it looks just really good. And actually in my other den I'll show you, I did the exact same thing. And I think it's something that really spices up your den. It looks pretty creative. I made this little enchanted hollow den, which is like my main den right now. And I think it looks really good how it just kind of gets incorporated into the den. I'm gonna stop rambling about this, but I really do like the honeycomb art. And so the ninth Animal Jam life hack is actually that there's another kind of hidden shop in Coral Canyons. I'm sure many of you guys actually know about this shop, but it's really helpful for when there's no items that you really kind of like in the shops and you want something to still spice up your den. So all I need is a flying animal and not an egg, and you just want to go all the way up here and there's another shop. They don't really do much with this shop, so these items don't really leave that often, so you're always kind of guaranteed to have these. They look really nice in the den, and these rugs are probably my favorite rugs in the entire game. And there's things for non-members up here as well that you can add into your den, and all around, I think it's just a pretty nice shop. And it's called Royal Ridge. Who doesn't like that? And while we're on the topic of unreleased items, the 10th Animal Jam life hack is that actually each month, Animal Jam will update their own den, and they'll add a secret little item. So every month, you can just go and look for this item. In fact, I'm pretty sure these were both the last two months items, so they kind of do them in themes, so you can decorate your den and have everything matching. And for those of you guys that don't know, the actual new secret item in this den for this month is the frog pond right here. This would be really good for a nature den, and honestly, I think this looks super duper. 
super cute. So the 11th Animal Gem life hack is actually for those of you guys that are going for achievements or gems or just want to play the Animal Gem games. But sometimes while playing these games just from here, you get stuck in like a really laggy area or a lot of people come over, but there's a solution to this. You just have to go to the arcade and buy what game you want. There are some non-member games here, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to add more non-member things to this video. But yeah, just buy whatever game you want, and then go to your den and lock your den for nobody. And also, if you want to make it super non-lag free, don't have any other tabs open. If you want to listen to music played on your phone, and refresh just before you start playing. And then, you will be super duper lag free to get all of those... 50 games in for the achievement. I feel you guys. I feel you. I've done it before. And I guess Sapphire50 and I are going to show you guys the 12th Animal Gem life hack. So with all these new magenta items coming into the game, even the ones Animal Jam puts in the diamond shop, there's actually a new little magenta color. So all you have to do is zoom in your screen to maybe 175. You just want it to be really close. And then in the bottom corner, you want to click right on the edge but not exactly, and I'll show you. It takes a little bit. And there you go, it just basically gives you this really weird magenta color, and it doesn't actually show up on the color palette, but it's definitely like the exact color of all the other magenta items, so if you wanted to go all magenta, like everybody else's, feel free. I thought this one was really weird and I actually did it on accident the other day. Don't ask how, it was kinda late at night. Okay, next life hack. And so the 13th life hack is actually right over here. This touch pool game gives you tons of gems and really cute plushies once you fully complete it. I'm gonna have the plushies right up on the screen, but honestly, this is such a just really chill game. But you get tons of gems from this game, and there's so many animals that you can just kind of interact with. And as you can see, I think I've completed every single one, yeah. And you get these really cute little plushies that I'll have on the screen right now. Definitely a really fun and cute little game to play. Shout out to Pugs or epic 2015 i don't know what look that is well anyways guys the 14th life hack is for those of you guys that decorate dens or role play or do anything and you need food right here i'm just gonna make my own because unfortunately no one's featuring it right now but you usually won't have to host a party but this is the one party where you can get all of the food items you could ever want in animal jam so if we actually just go over right here to the shop located in this den you can get all types of food items, baker's windows, ovens, you can get a bread basket, cookie chairs, this amazing cupcake display, and you can also just get kind of donuts and cakes, which look so good. And you would never know it was just from this party in Animal Jam. So this is definitely a really good party to go to if you're in need of some food items. And on the topic of parties, the 15th Animal Jam life hack is actually when you're going to one of these parties, if you want to go to a more full one, you just click on the same one again. Although there's no party on right now, I'm just going to go to the summer carnival and show you what I mean. So this is probably the most packed summer carnival, but what you want to do is just re-click on the same icon right here, and it'll move you to a more densely packed one. Or if you're already in the most popular one, it'll tell you. And wow, those are some big butterfly wings. But yeah, this works for any party in Animal Jam. If you want to find a bigger version, aka one with more people in it, just re-click the same one and it'll tell you you're already in the most popular party or it'll move you. I think this one's really helpful because sometimes it's just so annoying to have to leave the adventure and join and get back into the same exact one. And the 16th Animal Gem life hack is actually right here on Crystal Sands. The new fast foodies game that they added into Animal Jam and Animal Jam Play Wild is right outside the Captain Melville's juice hut. I just noticed this the other day and it's a super fun game. And also, if you didn't know where to find it in the game, definitely go here. This is honestly one of my favorite rooms in Animal Jam. It looks so great. And the fast foodies game, you can really get lost in. Trust me guys, just try playing it once. You get lost in it. I think I played for like 30 minutes the other day. Oh boy. And onto the 17th Animal Gem life hack. If you are tired of diamond shop pets and you're looking for a new one, try one of the new egg pets they have. Once you kind of have all the diamond shop pets, you think it's over and that there's nothing else you can get, but actually there are plenty of other egg pets that you can collect. These little nests are located all around Jama, and for only three diamonds, I think this is a pretty good deal. And you can customize them however you want, and you still never know how the animal's gonna turn out. And there's so many new little cute types of pets, it's definitely worth it waiting the three days. Trust me, it is. And I'm not sure if these are gone, but these cute little bees might still be in stores for you to collect. I'm telling you, these bees are so adorable. And the Animal Jam life hack number 18 is after you've bought a pet, you can rebuy them. So actually, if you do go to your little pets tab right over here, you can actually rebuy any pet you've bought before. 
I'm not exactly sure if this goes for promo pets. I think it goes for some of them. But if maybe you don't like the style you made of a pet or you don't like all the items it's wearing and you just kind of want to start fresh, you can just click this little butterfly icon and make yourself a new pet. Even if they're out of stores and they've been out of stores for months, you can still buy them. For example, one of the coolest pets ever, the sugar glider, is in my inventory for me to buy, even though these aren't in the stores right now. So I think this is a pretty cool little feature. And the 19th Animal Jam life hack is actually right here in Brady's lab. If you use the Brady's chemistry set, and, and I'm pretty sure you guys know this, if you hit each color three times, and then you hit this little fire button three times, it should be this little gray color. And then once you click it, it should go to all three and you get this super cool rainbow potion. For those of you that haven't got this already, I'm pretty sure this gives you a pretty cool achievement and you get to walk around Animal Jam with this really cool little rainbow potion effect. And last but finally not least, the last Animal Jam life hack number 20 is how to get tons of free gems. I think it's around 22,000. So I'm gonna have all these codes up on the screen and in the description for you guys to copy and paste. This is from the new Animal Jam app. If you actually read all of the books, you can get all these sweet codes. And 22,000 gems is definitely a lot. Not to mention these actually go over to Play Wild, so if you're broke on Play Wild like I am, you're gonna need these. Well guys, I'm pretty sure that wraps everything up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for the inactivity that's about to ensue. I hope you enjoyed this video. It helped you out a little bit. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. We are getting so close to 33k, so I would seriously appreciate it if you would hit that button down below. Join the meme family. Bye, guys.